Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple with another YouTube mini class for you today. Now today we are going to be working with Heartfelt Creations, their dies and their stamps, and I am so privileged to say that the collection we're working with today was designed by Marisa Job and she is a SMSP peer. She's a local customer who has done some work for Spellbinders and Heartfelt Creations and her dies and her stamps are beautiful, so I can't wait to bring those to you. We're also gonna be talking about the new Sizzix Magnetic Platform. Now, there's been a lot of talk about it, so I'm gonna get into that a little. And, of course, the Shop That Didn't Hop sale that's coming up starting July 26th. We've got that to look forward to, as well as the warehouse sale featuring everything Sizzix. Now yesterday we got another 40 boxes, 41 boxes delivered from Ellison, which was brimming full of Sizzix product. So the girls are inventorying and tagging and marking down and getting them to the lowest possible price. And we will start, gosh, maybe in another week or two, we'll start putting everything out in the crop area. Um, that'll be closed for the next month while we get ready for these two big events. So I do want to answer a couple questions. We had some questions that came in on the Ask Stacy site, and one of them was with regard to the warehouse sale. How do we know if we place our orders that we're going to get the dies we ordered? Well, first off, once you place your order, because we are so busy with the shop that didn't hop, I'll be dressed as Evil Queen, and the girls will be the Seven Dwarfs, and we'll have up to a thousand customers, I think we're anticipating about a thousand customers coming through the store for those 17 days. We will not be processing any online orders until after the event. So we won't even really start to look at your orders until August 17th. Now that means that this whole event's gone on and you've placed your order, but how do you know you're going to get your Sizzix dies? No worries. <laughs> We have an inventory set up just for you online shoppers and an inventory set up just for in-store shoppers. So the in-store shoppers are not going to have access to the product we set aside for you out there in cyber world. And the cyber world is not gonna have any access to the product that we set aside for in-store shoppers. So if we've got 300 of a certain die coming in, Perhaps we've put 200 away for online shoppers and we'll have 100 here for in-store shoppers. But they are completely separate. So if it shows online that it's in stock, then you know you've got it. <laughs> if it shows online when you go to shop, if it shows as a back-ordered item, that doesn't mean you're not going to get it. That just means we have to call Ellison Sizzix and tell him we need more. <laughs> Now some things are very, very limited, and so we'll do our best to remove those off the site just as soon as they become sold out. But Ellison Sizzix has worked with us wonderfully, and this is going to be an amazing event. And all of you out there online, you don't have to worry. We have got lots of product for you, and you're not in competition with the in-store people, so you've got your own inventory, and they've got their own inventory, and that should keep it flowing very nicely so there's enough for everybody. And with dyes at a dollar each, oh my gosh. I mean, not everything's a dollar each, but there's some really good deals, let me tell you. I've been posting on Facebook um, some of the sneak peeks of some of the things we're going to have. And um, wow, that's all I can say is wow. So I hope that answers some of the questions. That was one of the questions that came through the Ask Stacy um, at earthlink.net email address and I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Now remember, we won't be shipping any orders until, we actually won't even be processing orders until August 17th. So we won't even be looking at them until that date. So you have all your stuff on order, just be patient with us. Again, we're hoping to have, I mean, Ellison and Sizzix, they've got all of the stuff ready to go. We've got it here. So uh, we'll try and get through them as quickly as possible and yes, take advantage of the sale. We only do this once a year and it is awesome. Okay, we have winners, we have YouTube winners. Yay! So the last YouTube I did was with the Ruby Rocket Vellum and Alcohol Inks and I have got two wonderful prize packages because we didn't quite have 600 comments, we had a little over 500 so that means I'm gonna do two. Um, but wonderful prize package that I've put together full of Ruby Rocket yumminess <laughs> from cards and decoupage and, and, and vellums. So um, our two winners are, drum roll, 
Brrr. Donna Lizotte. I hope I'm saying that right. L-I-Z-O-T-T-E. Donna Lizotte. Congratulations, winner, winner, chicken dinner. You've won. Yay. <laughs> Our next winner, are you ready? Could be you. Teresa. Teresa Jarvis. Teresa Jarvis, you have won. Congratulations. You have won a wonderful prize package filled with ruby rocket yumminess. Congratulations, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> now, how are you going to claim your prizes? Well, you know the drill. You're going to call 661-298-1112. You're going to ask for Naomi. You're going to yell, I'm a winner, because I can hear it. I mean, Naomi sits right next to me. I mean, right next to me. <laughs> so every time she's on the phone, I can hear when somebody's going, yay! And then I go, yay, right back, because <laughs> I'm equally excited for you. Woo! <laughs> So, Donna Lazat, and I apologize if I've said that incorrectly, Donna, but just go with it. You're a winner, so it'll be okay, right? <laughs> and Teresa Jarvis, give Naomi a call, 661-298-1112. If you happen to be an international buyer, drop us an email at asksms um, at earthlink.net. That's asksms at earthlink.net, attention Naomi, and she will get your prices out to you ASAP. So, I know that some of the people started to get their uh, Pam Pastels and are loving them. So even the winners got their Pam Pastels from the previous YouTube. So now do you want to be a YouTube winner? I want you to be a YouTube winner, but you have to subscribe to our channel and then you have to post a comment on this YouTube, but not yet. Wait for me to finish. Then go post a comment on this YouTube and you too could win a fabulous prize from Scrapbooking Made Simple. And we appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm striving to get to 9,000 subscribers. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. So help me get there and go subscribe. Now, we have got a lot to talk about today. The multi, or not the multi-purpose platform, that just comes out of my mouth like nothing. I mean, I say it so frequently that <laughs> the magnetic platform from Sizzix. I want to talk about that today because it has a little bit to do with what we're using today with the Heartfelt Creations dies. Now, Sizzix has put together a multi uh, magnetic platform. I'm never going to get that out. A magnetic platform for your Sizzix Big Shot, your Big Kick, your Vagabond. Will it work in a cuddle bug? It won't work in the older cuddle bugs. I'm not sure about the new ones. We don't do cuddle bug here. We're really, Sizzix has the best machine on the market, so that's the machine we sell. Um, will it work in the old Sizzix red, you know, the lever red one? No, it won't work in there either. It's just too wide, so it's time to upgrade. <laughs> Wait for the warehouse sale and upgrade for to a new Sizzix machine. Um, but the new magnetic platform was made with the intent of being able to use wafer dies with it. Wafer dies are those skinny dies, those, oh, I can't even pick it up, they're so thin. The skinny little dies, wafer dies, thin, 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 made of metal. And the magnetic platform now holds those dies in place. So in previous YouTubes, you've seen me use post-it notes or tape to keep everything in place. It's not needed anymore. You've got a new wafer or a new wafer platform that has magnets in it. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about some little warning labels on this. Now, I don't have a magnetic platform in my possession. I don't. So I MacGyvered it. <laughs> I posted last night that I MacGyvered and I made my own. It's not exact, but it's close and you'll get the idea. <laughs> you'll see it in a few minutes. But I MacGyvered my own platform. Um, there are a few things you need to know, a little warning uh, stuff about the platform because it has so many magnets in it. You don't necessarily want to use this if you have a pacemaker. It's not advised to be using it with a pace if you're if you're with a pacemaker or you're near somebody with a pacemaker. Also, keep it away from your smartphone. With the magnets, it draws attention and the attraction, and it will uh, it could harm your smartphone along with your credit cards. So <laughs> you want to keep it away from your credit cards, your smartphone, and if you have a pacemaker. Other than that you're good to go. So disclaimer now been said <laughs> and I think I am going to tilt on down and we're going to get started for today and I'm going to show you my MacGyver platform. <laughs> I was so impressed with myself I have to tell you. <laughs> okay down we go. Bye. All right there we are. Okay here's my platform. I guess I can, um, let me scooch this up a little bit so I can pull back a little bit. There we go. Here's my platform. I made it myself. It actually is a old Sizzix 
Big Shot, Big Kick platform before they had the multi-purpose platforms. And so we're going to pretend, I'm going to ask you all to put your thinking caps on, and we are going to pretend that this is my new magnetic platform. So you can see, you can see where you can buy it at, you can see the original price, and you can see our sell price. Now these are on pre-order, so you can't get them yet. Yes, Stampin' Up! does have them. They were released to Stampin' Up! first, and my understanding is that Stampin' Up! is also sold out of them. But if you can't wait, we understand. Call your Stampin' Up! demonstrator and see if they can get one for you. I don't know. I know that our Stampin' Up! demonstrators in our local area put orders in for them with, with for the customers and they got back ordered for them. So I can tell you that our price is less than Stampin' Up! and that of course it ships for free if you spend more than fifty dollars. But this is what it looks like, kind of. It's about this thick and the first thing you'll notice is there's no tabs unlike the multi-purpose platform. That's because this platform is only for your wafer dies. So if you are using memory box or spell binders or Elizabeth Crafts or thinlets from Sizzix or framelets from Sizzix, you really want to have this platform because it takes away the need for post-it notes and for tape to hold things down. Now, I was hoping to have one for today so I could show you how it works, but again, a little duct tape, well, a little Sukwang tape, some pop dots, and a paper clip, and I think I made my own. Here would be your platform. The next thing you would put down is your clear plate. Your clear plate's right here. The difference is it's no longer going to be a do not cut clear plate. You're going to be cutting into the bottom plate and your do not cut plate's going to become your top. So you would put this down just like it was a normal platform. Then you would take your paper. Let's see. We're going to be using this today because this is what we're playing with from Heartfelt Creations, the stamp and the die set. So you would take your paper and you would put it right down onto your clear plate and then you would take your die and this is where the magnetic portion comes in. You would be able to line your die right up with whatever you've stamped or whatever picture you're trying to make an exact uh, die cut of. You would be able to take that and line that up just perfect and I tell you I've seen the magnetic platform, I've played with it the dies just zap right to it. They stick down and they don't move. So that when it's all done, I'm pressing down because I've used Sukwang, when it's all done, you would be able to pick it up and nothing moves. Absolutely nothing comes off. That would all be magnetized down, including your, your do not cut or your base plate, your plate down here you would be able to put all of that onto your platform. The magnet is so strong that it keeps your paper in place, it keeps your clear plate in place right onto your magnetic platform. And you'll be able to move it and shake it and nothing will move. That's pretty awesome! <laughs> I'm totally digging on that because now you don't need a post-it note or tape or whatever to put everything in place and line everything up. The magnetic platform is going to do it all for you and you're going to be able to use all of your wafer dies. That's important. Now, do you need this platform? If you're doing wafer dies and you're especially stamping with them like we're going to be doing today, today I used the stamp, oh, pop dotted down, <laughs> pull it back up. <laughs> Today I used the Heartfelt Creations stamp. I stamped it and then I put the die on top. If you're going to be doing projects like that where you are stamping and die cutting, then yes, you're going to want the magnetic platform. It's just faster and easier and so much uh, user friendly when you get to using your wafer dies. If you don't do wafer dies, then you don't need the magnetic platform. You're fine without it. If you just use your Sizzix Bigs, your Tim Holtz alterations, your Sizzlets, you've got everything you need in the multi-purpose platform that came with your machine. 
Now there is another platform out there. It's by Lifestyle Crafts. I believe it's called the Genius Platform. And there's been questions about, well, what's the difference? Well, the difference is the Genius Platform is kind of like a multi-purpose platform, only it has the, the, the shims are removable. The back of it has openings and you'll be able to see the magnet. With the Sizzix platform, it's completely self-contained out of durable plastic. So you're never going to have to replace it and it's never gonna break. Everything, all the magnets are hidden. It's all self-contained, unlike the Genius platform. The difference also is that you don't need the Genius platform because you have the Sizzix Big Shot. And if you have the new one, oh, I'm pulling it out. If you have the new Big Shot, you already have everything you need to do every other die on the market. You've already got it right here. You can do all the embossing folders. You can do your bigs. You can do your sizzlets. You've got it right here. And even if you want to do your wafer dies, you can still do your wafer dies right here if you want to tape it down. But you don't need the Genius Platform because Ellison Sizzix has already given you all the tools you need. This is just a convenience factor, having the magnetic platform where everything connects right to it. The only time you're going to use it is with wafer dies. You don't have to worry what tab and what shim because there isn't any. It's just, it's a wonderful little tool. I love it and we can't wait to get ours. Now, ours are on pre-order as well and we won't have them until September, but we're selling them like hotcakes. Thank you so much. And where are you going to go? <laughs> <laughs> to get it. <laughs> I was so proud of myself. That's where you're going to go. Regularly priced $39.99, sell price $33.99, and you're going to go to this website to get it. And it's going to do exactly what I've showed you. It's going to hold everything in place so that you're, you can move it, you can manipulate your wafer die, line it up, and then send it through. Excellent job. So that's why I wanted to show it today because we're actually going to be using this uh, template this die from Heartfelt Creations and the stamp set. And again, both of these were designed by one of um, our local friends, Marissa, Marissa Job, and she did a beautiful job, just a beautiful job. Now you can see I put pot dots in there to hold it down. So I'm just gonna pop those bad boys off so I can use this through the rest of the demo. <laughs> and that concludes my MacGyver for today. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how am I going to show this without actually having the platform? And then I channeled my husband, and this is what I came up with. All right, so for today, I'm going to take, I'm going to take this off because we're going to use this. I've got sukwing tape everywhere, and I'm going to put these to the side. So for today, we're going to be playing with the dies and the stamps from Heartfelt Creation. And they really are beautiful. Let me show you the stamp set, or the die set here. Here's the die set. Now, Marisa came up with this set with the idea that you would be able to stamp once, put the die on it, and cut all your flowers all at once. And she did a fabulous job. There's a host of different sizes. You get the leaves right there. It's all done, one stamp, one pass through your die cutting machine and you have got a host of flowers. Now we're going to be playing with them with some vellum and with some regular paper, but I do want to show you a sample of what she has put together. She made this here for the store, so I get to keep this one. Is that not absolutely gorgeous? Beautiful, huh? Let's just this up just a little bit out of the way. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the detail on those flowers and that's all stamped, embossed, and colored. Easy to do. Isn't that just stunning? That's what you can do with her flowers and her, her die sets and the stamp sets. So we're gonna get right to it. Now, there's a couple different ways of doing this. We have, to begin with, we have the stamp set, and I have got it on my Tim Holtz grid block. And you can see it's a red rubber stamp. It clings on and off and on and off and on and off. If for some reason it stops sticking, take a wet wipe or some Dawn dishwashing detergent, wipe it off, wipe your block off. You probably just have embossing powder or oils from your fingers that are keeping it. But the idea is that you can use it again and again and again. And storage is real easy because it's on cling. 
We're going to be using today Brilliant Inks. We're going to be playing with Brilliant Inks and we're going to be playing with Stemple Paint. Now, good news, we have Stemple Paint back in. Yay! <laughs> so if you had any of your Stemple Paint on back order, they've already put those in the back orders and are shipping those out, but we've got a whole supply of Stemple Paint in again, so I'm very excited about that. And we do have our Brilliance inks. Now the difference between a Brilliance ink and a Memento ink is that a Brilliance ink is a pigment ink. It is not a chalk and it is not a dye, it is a pigment ink. So if you watched my CDPs of ink, you know that pigment ink takes the longest to dry because it is the furthest away on the alphabet. Chalk dries the fastest, the C, that's the first letter in the alphabet. D is right next to chalk, that's for dye, it dries almost. Uh, as dye dries almost as fast as chalk, but not quite as fast. And then pigment, that's a long way away from D. That takes the longest to dry. So when you're out shopping, remember the CDPs of ink. If you know your ABCs, you can remember CDP, chalk dye pigment. Now, Brilliance has made um, Memento, or Sukuniko, has made a beautiful ink called Brilliance, and it is a pigment ink, which means that it's meant for non-porous materials or for embossing. It's really good for embossing. And it also works fabulously on vellum. Because vellum is more non-porous, the ink dries fairly quickly on the vellum. It's a fast drying pigment ink. And it really is just beautiful. Look at that flower, isn't that gorgeous? That's done. That's actually done with this one right here. So we are going to start by taking some vellum, let me grab a sheet of vellum, and I'm using the Ruby Rocket vellum. I've got my stamp right here. I'm going to use my Versamark medium, which is the medium you use for embossing most of the time. You're going to put it right onto your stamp. I'm going to take my stamp pad. Put it underneath because I want that gush. Remember the gush, you need a stamp pad. Now we sell the stamp pads, it's about twice this size. This is one cut in half. Uh, they're $3.99. Just keep in mind that when we ship it, we have to cut it in half. Otherwise, it's just too long for us to fit into any of our boxes. And then I'm going to give a good push down. Good push down. Now, I like the Tim Holtz grid blocks because they're thin, so I can feel how much pressure I'm putting down. Sometimes with the thicker blocks, I have a hard time because you've got a, a half of an inch of acrylic and then your stamp. So I like the Tim Holtz grid blocks. They work better for me. And then I'm going to pull up. And you will be able to see that there's a watermark. Can you see that watermark? That's the Versamark. Isn't that, can you all see it? There we go. Now we would take our, oh, let's do white because white will be easier to see. I'm going to put my detailed white embossing powder. Now this is from Stampendous and it is detail white embossing powder. That means that it's going to not blob when you heat it. It's going to leave all the fine lines and all the fine detail of the stamped image because it's finer than a standard embossing powder. And I'm just going to dump it all over. I'm a dumper because it all goes back in the bottle anyway. And I'm going to move it all over. I think that's good enough. And tip it back into my bottle. Give a little weft. And there's my stamped image on my vellum. Now at this point, I would take my heat tool and I would heat this until my, my embossing powder has melted. And by the magic of TV, <laughs> here it is. Okay, so different stamp set, but same idea. Here it is. This is it in powder. And I would take my heat tool and I would just heat it right over the top until you start to see it melt. And when you're all done, 
this is what you get. And you can see it's all kind of beautiful and shiny, but you can see the detail. All the detail has been retained by the embossing powder. You haven't lost that detail from the stamp because that embossing powder is so fine. Let me move this out of my way. So the embossing powder comes in several colors and we've done it in all the colors. You can see it in the silver and in the gold. This is all detailed embossing powder by Stampendous. And the black I showed earlier, all detailed embossing powder. And then the white. And what's important to know is that with detailed embossing powder, you can use it for anything. You can use it when you are stamping words or if you've got chunky stamps. You can use detailed embossing powder for anything. You can't use regular embossing powder for detailed images. Oh, fire trucks. So most of the time we just sell everybody detailed embossing powder because you can use it for your chunkier images. You can use it for words. You can use it for just about any image you want to emboss, but you can't use regular embossing powder when you need to get those nice fine lines. It just won't give it to you. The embossing powder will kind of melt in and gloop into each other and you'll lose that detail. So our thought is, you know what? You might as well just have the detail. It's really all you need. Get it and then you're covered over your embossing powder and it lasts a lifetime. So we have taken and we have stamped our image on top of plain vellum, and this is the Ruby Rocket vellum. We've just stamped our image on top of plain vellum. We used our Versamark pad to ink up our stamp. We took our embossing powder and we put it down on top of our vellum after we've stamped, and then we've used our heat tool to go ahead and set that embossing powder. Now we're going to uh, die cut. And we have a choice. Now if you're going to color all your flowers the same, you can color everything and then die cut. Or if you want to have individual flowers and color them differently so it's easier, you can cut them and then color. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to take, let's take the gold. I'm going to move my stamp mat out of the way and I am going to bring up my multi-purpose platform and my Sizzix machine. Wow, there's something big going on out there. That's the second or third one to go by. Let's get this right out of the way, cover that up, and let's bring up our Sizzix Big Shot machine. So here's my Big Shot machine. It's the new version, the 2013, and I have got my multi-purpose platform, the extended multi-purpose platform that it comes with, and I am going to keep that multi-purpose platform completely closed. I'm not going to open up any tabs because I am doing a wafer die. Now, if I had my new magnetic platform, <laughs> that's the one I would be using right now. But since I don't, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it right down onto my uh, multi-purpose platform that we have. This time, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my cup plate down first because I want to see what I'm cutting with this. And that's the way you're going to want to do it when you have your magnetic platform. I'm going to line up my dies. Line them up. And Marissa always says to go her easiest way is these two little ones, to line those two little ones up. Now, Heartfelt Creations recommends that you make a template. And it's, it's easy to do. You can cut a piece of paper you, out of your die, and that way it's easier to line it up. I tend to eyeball. It's me. Um, and once you have your magnetic platform, you won't need either. You'll be able to just line everything up exactly the way you want it. So I've got it there. I'm going to put my do not cut plate in on the top because I'm cutting into my bottom plate and I'm going to send it on through. And I'm just going to go forward and back just to be sure. And I'm done. I have cut my dies out. They're ready to pop out. They're ready to color. Easy to do. So let's move this out of the way. 
So I've got my dies and I've got a whole bunch already cut and ready to go. So I would just open this up and start popping my, start popping my, uh, my flowers out. And I've got some that are already taken out so I can start coloring with them. Now I'm going to color first with the brilliance. And I want to show you how easy it is. You literally take the brilliance, put your flower down, go straight over the top. Straight over the top. That embossing, that silver embossing that I'm going over the top of, it works as a resist. So the purple that I'm using isn't going to stick to that silver. To my center and let it dry. My flower is colored and it's got this beautiful sheen to it. All done with just the Brilliance inks. And I recommend that you get them in the dew drop size. The dew drop size is in reference to the, si the shape of the packaging. They come in a full size pad, but really I would rather see you buy the smaller pads and get more colors than use the bigger pads because I think the amount that you're going to use them isn't like a memento black, tuxedo black ink where you're using it all the time and you would rather have more colors to play with. Let's do another one. Here I have got the pearlescent orchid and I'm just going to lay it down and I'm just going to go right over the top of it. And because it's been embossed, that embossing acts as a release, or as a resist, I'm sorry, a resist. We're going to set it aside to dry, but look at how pretty. And so easy to do. They just give the most beautiful look here. How pretty is that? All done with the Brilliance inks. And this one. Done with the Brilliance inks. And it gives it that beautiful sheen. And these are on vellum, so you can't use a dye-based ink or a chalk-based ink. You need this pigment-based ink. And the Brilliance is a fast-drying pigment. And last but not least, let me show you this one where I left one of the flowers just plain. This is just a clear vellum with the gold embossing and then I use the pearlescent poppy on top to make the flower. So easy and so pretty. And being that you cut so many flowers out at once with the die and the stamp set, you can just make whatever you want. You can layer them as you want because so many of them come out of the die. You're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten flowers for one crank. <laughs> That's pretty good. Ten flowers for one pass and two sets of leaves. Easy to do. So that's using the Brilliance inks. And the Brilliance are a Sukuniko product. It's a pigment-based ink. They run about $2.70 approximately. They'll be on a YouTube Yummy, but anybody, anybody can do them. You just hold it down and just start to color. And then let it dry. Gorgeous, isn't it? That's what this one was done. Absolutely beautiful. Brilliant inks, easy to use, but a very specific purpose. It's not the ink you're going to stamp with every day. You can't use it with Copic markers. You absolutely could if I wanted to. I could take this one now that's wet. I could throw clear embossing powder over the top of it and re-emboss, absolutely. Pigment-based inks. They're more for embossing, but they will dry on vellum, and the Brilliance are a quick drying pigment, so it doesn't take nearly as long. In fact, this one's probably dry. Yeah, this one's dry. Isn't that gorgeous, the sheen on that? So that's one way of doing the flowers and using the beautiful set that Heartfelt Creations has come up with. 
There's another way I want to show you, and it's using the stemple paints. Now we've used stemple paints before, and they're one of my most favorite products because they just are stunning. They come in, I think, 10 colors. We have everything in stock with the exception of the copper and the silver. I think we only have a dozen copper and a dozen silver in stock, but those are due back in. But we have all the other colors, the violet and the the uh, red and the gold. And I know this gold looks a little bit weird, but wait till you see it when you open it up and you use it. Now with stemple paint, I use a spouncer, just an inexpensive sponge dauber. It's called a spouncer. We sell them. They're relatively inexpensive. You can wash them and use them again and again and again. Um, I wish I was that good. I tend to throw them away. I'm terrible about that. But the stemple paint comes, it's a, it's a pasty, liquidy form, and you literally just daub your, your uh, stemple brush in there. You could use a sponge, you could use, I mean, there's a lot of things you can use if you don't want to buy the spouncer. Give it a whirl and see if it works. I'm going to put a little bit of gold. Now that gold, I know it looks a little weird, but wait till you see how stunning it is on the paper. And the idea is to blend the colors. Can you see the blend? Can you see the gold in there? And if you want to add a little more gold, you just pick up a little bit more gold, put it down. Now, stemple paint dries on metal. It dries on plastic. It dries on paper. It dries on vellum. It's like this all-purpose yumminess <laughs> with a magnificent sheen to it. And it dries very, very, very fast. Got a little too much yellow there. It dries super fast and you just move it around and make what you want. Now because we're going to be doing flowers, I want my color to be um, a little mottled and different all over because when I cut the petals of the flower, I want to have different highs and different lows in there. So for me, on a this isn't going to be a background, so it's not necessary that it be um, really beautiful and pretty. I just want the color all over so when I cut my flower it does fabulous. Look at the sheen on that. Is that gorgeous? They're just beautiful. I love stemple paint. We use it for everything um, because it stays on everything. It works on the vellum. It works on plastic. It works on chipboard. On chipboard it's absolutely stunning. So it's just this all-purpose medium that just has this sheen that can only make you happy. So it does take a second to dry. This one's almost dry, but because I'm putting embossing powder on top of it, I want to make sure it's really dry. So I did this one about mm, right before I started the YouTube. So however many word minutes we're in, and it's completely dry. Because we're using embossing powder, the embossing powder, if it's even a little bit wet, will stick to the stemple paint, and we don't want to have that. Okay, so I've got this one here. And I actually did this one too. I did this one yesterday playing with the colors. Look at the color. Is that not just sheer yumminess? And you can die cut butterflies out of this and you can make backgrounds out of this and you can make flowers out of this. There's really nothing you can't do with the stemple paint. I love it. I have got my stamp again. I'm going to take my Versamark, which is my embossing medium. I'm going to re-stamp, re, -stamp, re get that Versamark all over my stamp. I'm going to get my stamp pad because you always want to stamp on the stamp pad. And then I'm going to give a good press down. Now you're not doing chest compressions. We're not doing this. <laughs> You just want to give good pressure, and because you're going into the stamp mat, you've got some gush, you've got some give, which will make it a much better uh, surface bonding between the stamp and your paper. You got a good, good little gush in there, and we're not doing chest compressions. And up I go. Now it's going to be a little hard to see the impression because it's on the stemple, but if I take my embossing powder put this over here just so I can if I take my embossing powder and I tip it off you can see the impression coming up now I would go over my entire thing with the embossing powder and then I would give it a little flick and get rid of the extra and this is what you would have 
and then just like the vellum, I would take my heat tool and I would start to heat it, giving you a beautiful embossed finish. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Then it's like washing your hair, rinse and repeat. You're gonna put it on your multi-purpose platform, completely closed, you're gonna put your dye on, you're gonna send it through your Big Shot, and you are going to cut the most beautiful flowers. Look at the sheen on that. It's just sheer yumminess. Is that fabulous? All done with the stemple paint, the Heartfelt Creations flowers, and the stamps. Now there's two stamp sets that go with this one set of flowers. We've got the uh, stamp set here where it's got the variegated, the, the lines are not all together, and then we've got kind of a striped set. And they both work with the die set. Just lovely. It makes for just a beautiful, beautiful flower. And all you did was create a background paper, stamp, emboss, and then die cut. And you can see on this one how I don't have my color exactly the same in every place because you really want that color to be different on a flower just like it would be in real life. And let's see what sample, oh, here, let's see. I've got a sample down here where she's done. Marissa made these beautiful samples for us. Look at the sample. Is that gorgeous? Look at that card. But all the flowers were done with the stemple paint. Can you see that sheen and that shine? Just as easy to do. And this card was fairly easy to do. This is using the Heartfelt Creations paper pad that goes with the collection. She just cut it in half, a 12 by 12 and a half, scored it in the appropriate places, folded it, and made the card out of a six by 12 sheet of paper. It's beautiful, huh? But can you see on the flowers the beautiful sheen that you get with the stemple paint? Okay, so What's next? I want to show you one more thing before we finish because she, in this collection, also made this stunning box. The box is absolutely stunning. And when you open it, it's a real box. I mean, you can put goodies in there. You can do wonderful things with this box. It's yummy. And she's decorated it with all of her flowers. But is that gorgeous? But I want to show you how easy it is to make this box really quick. Now we've got the die. We had the die. We got the die right here. And all it takes is four cuts of this die. That's all it takes. Four cuts of the die. And again, because it is a wafer thin die, you will be able to use your new magnetic platform or your multi purpose platform that came with your Sizzix machine. Your multi purpose platform. Even if you have the small one, you can use it. This is the larger, the extended version, but even the small version will work. And because it's a wafer die, wafer dies always are on the top platform with everything completely closed. And you're gonna sandwich it as normal and send it on through. But all it takes, I know boxes sometimes are difficult because they're not the real size. You don't know exactly how big they are. But this one's just magnificent. And all it takes is four four pieces of paper, one 12 by 12 sheet. And when you cut it, it comes out just like this. Now you're going to take your score lines and you're gonna fold the two flaps in and you're going to fold the scalloped edges out. Two flaps in, scalloped edges out. So, two flaps in, scalloped edges out. And all you need is four pieces because then what you're going to do is take your soup wang tape this one might be a little thick. You're going to run it down the edge, yeah, I would use one eighth inch. Run it down the edge, peel it up, and then line up 
your two pieces. So I've got scallop to scallop and I'm just going to line those two pieces up. And then I would take another piece of Suk Wang tape because it's really the strongest and most economical tape out there. It's heat resistant. You can use it for everything. It comes in, gosh, we even have a new size. We have three eighths. It comes in, I don't know, 15, 16 different sizes. So flap in, flap in, scallop out, scallop out, Peel off your souk wing. Marissa really did give this box some thought. She made it a usable size, which is so important. And line up. Line it up. Can you see my box coming together? I just have one more side to finish. And I've created a nice, beautiful, usable box. Some of the boxes are so small you can't put anything in it, but how darling is that? All out of her one die. The one box die. Here it is. It's hard to tell what it is from the picture. Can you see that picture? I see my... Sh da, da, da. But it's very hard to understand that from this, you get this. <laughs> I wish they had put a finished box on it. Just a little picture of a finished box because how pretty I mean, this is just absolutely gorgeous. This is stunning. That you can do something so beautiful out of something that on the front looks so plain. So when you see this, no, you are making just a beautiful, beautiful box. And it's also gonna be on a YouTube Yummy because the whole collection will be on a YouTube Yummy. So it's part of the, hmm, it's part of the Sunkissed Fleur collection. Actually, all heartfelt creations, I think, will be on a YouTube yummy. We'll do all heartfelt. But the, this is the Sun, uh, Sunkissed Fleur collection. And what else goes with it? So we've got the die, and we've got the two stamps that work with it. But then they've got coordinating stamps where the flowers will sit right on top. You stamp, and the flowers will sit right on top. Look at how beautiful are these. The flowers, you stamp it onto whatever you're doing and then you can layer your flowers right on top to give a 3D effect. Really cool and beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? We have a sample with this one. I'll show you that in just a minute. But the little flowers sit right on top. All the flowers coordinate. In the background, boy, this one was popular. We used this one for a make and take, and it was just wildly popular. But those are the stamp sets that go with the die, and then you also have the box die. And these will be on a buy it all. So if you buy it all, we'll have a one-click button, and they will be at 20% off if you do the buy it all. Okay, so what did we talk about today? Wow, we talked about a lot. First things, we talked about the Sizzix new magnetic platform and how it works. It's very simple to use. You're only gonna need it when you use your wafer dies. Everything just sticks right to it. The magnetics are so strong that when you put this down, it literally holds your clear plate right in place. You can see what paper you're using. Take it and line it up. Oh, here, there's this one. Take it and line it up so you can see exactly what you're doing and it's it holds, it's strong enough to hold the clear plate in place so that when you pick it up or you move it, absolutely nothing moves, nothing. That's awesome. Do you need it? Well, if you're doing wafer dies, yes. <laughs> It'll make your life a whole lot easier. Where can you get it? It's currently on pre-order. So if you don't have to have it right, right, right this minute, then you can get it for a super great price at our website. I do know that Stampin' Up! had them. 
I don't know if they have any in stock. I know that our girls who have ordered them through Stampin' Up! are on back order. All I could recommend you do is call your Stampin' Up! demonstrator and ask her if she has any, if you have to have it right, right, right now. And I understand that. <laughs> I get that. We all want our things now, <laughs> especially when it's a tool and it's so useful. We also went over um, vellum again. We talked about vellum and embossing on vellum and how easy it is to just use your Brilliance inks and that the Brilliance inks are a pigment-based ink. So they're meant to do embossing or put on vellum. They take a much longer time to dry than a dye-based or a chalk-based ink. But when they're done, and really, I mean, a long time is a few minutes at that. When they're done, they're just beautiful and they have the most gorgeous sheen to them. They really do. They're just lovely. So we talked about doing that with vellum and embossing on vellum with the Brilliant Sinks. We also talked about making your own backgrounds using the stemple paint and just basic paper, stamping on it, putting your embossing powder down, heating it up with your heat tool, and then die cutting it out to make, again, absolutely stunning flowers. Beautiful. And these are all from the Heartfelt Creations collection. That'll be on sale. So let me show you some other samples because we've got some fabulous samples that she's done. I already showed you, I already showed you this one. And you can see the dimension of the flowers. We also have this card. Can you imagine the work? She is just amazing. She does just the most brilliant job and it's, it stands up but is that just absolutely gorgeous? Beautiful, and all of these, again, were done with her dyes and her flowers. She designed them, and Heartfelt Creations has produced them. And then we have, with the different flower, remember the stripy flower? Look at how cute is that, is that darling? And you can just go in there with your memento markers, and you can just color them with your memento markers, and this is it one of those little easel trifold easel cards. Cute, huh? Beautiful. And you see how all the little flowers coordinate with all the paper and you just pop them right on top to give a three-dimensional look. And then we have the tag that I showed earlier. Again with the flower and this was done with the stemple paint. And then we have the make and take that we did, which <laughs> I would love to be able to do a make and take with the uh, how magnificent those are, but ours was a little simpler. So we used the background stamp that I showed you earlier, and we just took our memento markers and we colored them in, and we did the flower. So there it is in red, and we have a sample in the purple. So you can go from the, oh my gosh, absolutely stunning, amazing to the everyday. I can do this card. <laughs> Everybody can do this card. And we just put a little peel off, best wishes. We've got it in the pink. So again, how nice to make a set of these, maybe five of them, bundle them together, don't put any sentiment on the inside and give that as a gift to somebody so they can give away a beautiful handmade card for a birthday. Isn't that pretty? And then I had said we had done one with the stamp that had the basket on it, and here it is. Yvette did this one, and again, we 3 d the flower, so we've cut the flower and popped it right on top, exactly where the stamp says it should go, and it fits just perfect. Easy to do. All right, I think I'm gonna tilt on up and I'm gonna say, hey everybody, this is me, Stacy at Scrapbooking Made Simple. We went over a lot today, so I hope you were able to stay with me. And now's the time you get to go post a comment and say, woo, I wanna be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Where are you going to find all of these amazing products? You're gonna find them at our website, www.shopatsms.com. That's the word shop, the word at sms.com or www.scrapbooking-made-simple.com. We'll have them on a YouTube Yummy. We'll have the Brilliance Inks on a YouTube Yummy. We'll have the Stemple Paint 
on a YouTube Yummy. We'll have the heartfelt creations on a YouTube Yummy. So you'll be able to one click and see everything that's on sale. We will have, we currently have the magne uh, magnetic platform on a pre-order. So go ahead and get yours pre-ordered. I do know with the popularity of this item, it's gonna become a very hard to get thing. Retailers are just now, we're going to CHA in just about a month. And I have a feeling because these are so phenomenal that Sizzix is gonna sell out of them too. They're also gonna be gone just to the retailers. So get your order in. We've already ordered ours. Ours are already in the SKU or in the queue, and uh, we've got ours on order. So, and I've got uh, I've got a lot of them coming in. <laughs> so I wanted to be one of the very first to get our orders in, and that's what we did. So, if you want the magnetic platform, go ahead and place your pre-order now. It's on sale, and of course, at fifty dollars or more, it would ship for free. Uh, what else do we have? We've got Stemple, we've got Brilliance, we've got Heartfelt Creations, uh, we've got our winners. Donna Lazat and Teresa Jarvis, congratulations. You know where you're going to shop, www.shop at sms.com. And I think that's it. So I guess that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time. I had a great time. And we'll see you again, hopefully, next week. Toodles. <laughs> Bye.